Hey there, guys and girls. I'm getting Junior early in the game, so I gotta find Dandelion so I can forward the game itself. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go to his casino first, not his hideout. His casino. The reason why your reward in the casino will set you up for his arena and everything. There's really nothing to fight in his hideout. But in the arena, you're gonna need this reward. Same Trust me on that one. Here. Now, with these guys, I just pay them off. They're still going to come inside and try to fight me anyway. So they'll die with the rest of them. I'm not worrying about experience points. I'm not worried about anything. That's how I play the game. I can easily get to level 100. Easily. I have no issues with it. My key is I don't play much of the quest. This one I do have to play. Because you have to get Dandelion to find Siri. Then from there I slack off and do other stuff instead of burning up the quest in the game. So you're going to go into the casino. I save out of habit. I suggest you do too. Especially when you're low level. In New Game Plus, I wouldn't even think of doing this. Because my difficulty level in all my videos is normal. It's sword and story. Now I can make it broken bones, but of my subscribers, I only say 5% play broken bones. Everybody plays this game in normal difficulty. So now, this one on the, right in front of me right there, I'm going to save him. No way, not that guy. This guy. I'm going to save him for last. I'm going to choose the guy by the stairs. I'm going to play him a couple games to Gwent. But I do not have a deck. I got the deck I started with the game. Time's come. So I'm not playing all the innkeepers. I'm not playing nothing. I'm going to get this casino. I'm going to get my reward. Now, just to see if the Gwent hand I was given at the very beginning of the game in White Orchard when you play the merchant. Is still viable and able to beat this guy. No, he beat me three times in a row. So, so enough of this. Screw Gwent. I'm going to take the casino. I'm not mucking around and I'm going to get my reward. I wish I get that bar girl too, but she kind of disappears. So make sure you have Hangman's Venom and you're equipped with Gwent because you're getting ready when you tell this guy you're looking for Junior. The whole place is going to come on you. My first safety part is to get to those stairs. Halfway up would be pretty good. It doesn't activate the ones in the upper floor. But either way, you're in a tough fight. So see right there, go up the stairs, hit my Quinn, and now I'm whacking him. And there's the fire rune and the sword. Here's the two guys upstairs. Now here I'm kind of surrounded. So I'm going to scoot out. You don't want to stay there. I'm going to work my way out, swinging, of course. Now you notice my vitality took a big hit. I'm hitting Quinn, I just took a swallow. So now I'm going to take these guys out. Now if you have to fight them twice, do it. Get their vitality bar held bar down low. Go back up the stairs and come down and finish them off. It's better than being stuck in the middle of, of bad guys. It's just striking you from all directions. So I'm going to wreck them. I'm not playing Gwent this playthrough. I'm not playing the game at all. I'm going to fail it. So there they go. Time for my reward. Should look around. So after everybody's dead, I lose them. They got a lot of good stuff on it. Make sure you get it so you can sell it for crowns. I also have a dull sword. Now, I don't have it, I'm going to repair it, but it's kind of dumb of me. Because I'm getting a new weapon. And that's what the surprise is. But that's okay. It's two amateur repair kits. No big deal. That's why I took two to repair it. So I'm going up. But before I go free Rico, Right there on the left, you want to come over to the right, to the chest. You're going to get the Princess's Sword. 
Sanith is, I think it is. You're going to get that sword and you're going to equip it. That's going to be your new steel sword. It's twice as strong as your regular one. And that guy is how you beat the casino.